Hi, my name is Ken Cerny. I'm the Technology Chairman for Christ Evangelical Lutheran Church here in Merrill, Wisconsin. I'd like to share with you a little bit about where we've been the last two years during the pandemic as far as being able to live stream from a couple years ago when, when this whole thing started up. Um, we were just starting to do some recordings of pastor's sermons. And as a process, we're recording them, we're uploading them to YouTube, and we're pretty much using a camcorder, which actually is what I'm using right now to record this. I decided to go with the camcorder because I want to be able to move around a little bit uh, from what we have set up for uh, live streaming now. But this was, our, this was our only camera that we had. We had the camcorder um, and we would record his sermons. When, the, when we suddenly were not able to meet in person because nobody knew what was going on, we took the camcorder uh, and we just simply recorded his sermon um, alone. And we got uh, a really unusual look because there was nobody in church all of a sudden. Um, that didn't last too long and we started recording uh, the little bit of church that we were having. We were still doing a lot of split services um, and over the years things have kind of progressed. But what really progressed was the ability for us to do these live streams as opposed to just a recording to YouTube. Um, and in the process, discovering an awful lot about what technology is out there to make things easier for us. A couple of things that we needed to do was one, we needed to, I wanted to be able to incorporate the audio that was coming from the church audio system. Two, we needed to make it small because we don't have a large area to work with in our particular church. And I'm going to show you that area here in just a moment. And three, I wanted to make it simple enough for volunteers to be able to take, a, take some lessons from us and be able to be up and running and doing the live streaming for us. I'm not a professional. I have a full-time job. Everybody here has full-time jobs. So the volunteers are going to be people that are not familiar with audio systems or visual video systems. And in all honesty, I really wasn't either last year or the year before. Um, watched a lot of YouTubes. Most of the YouTube videos out there are by really smart guys who are doing this stuff in large churches. I didn't have the room that they had to play with. Um, what we ended up with is an ATEM Mini, a audio panel connection with that ATEM Mini, um, two HDMI PTZ cameras, and a laptop computer. And with that, we are live streaming um, in uh, 1080p um, and uh, turning out pretty good product, I think. Um, it wasn't always easy and it wasn't always pretty. Um, we did get the job done for a long time with something less and now we're doing a pretty good job. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to stop talking now and I want to, I'm going to take a moment to switch back around, put the camera behind me and uh, kind of show you a little bit about what we have going on here. In our... I'll be right back. So, like I said, here we are um, using two different cameras. Uh, one is one of the AVPAS AV1281s. Uh, we have two of those. Those are our primary cameras for uh, the live stream and recording everything that's happening on the, in the service. As a matter of fact, I can show you camera one is on the other side of the church. You can see me waving to you over here. The nice thing about that is I have, a, I have a joystick controller that I can control pretty much anywhere I wanted that to go. So they're presets. Both these cameras have presets. They basically look at the same place for both cameras. And so we use that as a means of picking and choosing and, and trying to get a decent view of the church. So that's, that's the two AVPOS cameras. Uh, they're identical. They work together, and I'll talk to you more about how they connect through the joystick in just a minute. But I just wanted to kind of show you, this is all the area that I had to work. A lot of the videos that I was using or that I was watching uh, through YouTube have a, a huge audio area and audio video area. And they got big machines and they got all kinds of stuff going on. 
like I said, I wanted it to be small enough to fit here. I wanted it to be simple enough to teach to any volunteer that wanted to be a part, part of this. Um, but at the same time, I wanted to put out a good product um, online live. Also, we, get, we record it and we can share that with anybody who cannot get to church. We can take it over to them and show it to them that way. And we also do, and, I'm, and I basically edit down uh, the one hour service down to a half hour and that goes online or actually on the radio the following week after our service is done. So um, we have quite a, we're, we're really stretching out there to try to reach out to as many people as we can. Again, this is one of the cameras that we use. Uh, this is the camera that we started with and you can just see it here in the, just a little bit. It's just a, a Canon camcorder, um, works good. I'm actually using the audio coming from the camcorder to uh, to show what we're doing here today uh, because it's got a good microphone for picking up just stuff like this and I don't have to work too hard doing it. Um, it's coming through and everything is coming through my A10 Mini up in the front here. So let me switch cameras. Let me go to camera three. There we go. So this is coming from the camcorder up behind me and what it's showing you is what we have to work with here and this is our primary work table here for audio video our primary piece of equipment is the a10 mini pro a10 mini pro is nothing more than a four channel hdmi switcher with two channels of audio four channels of video and you can bring audio in through there you can record using this you can go live stream with just a push of the button on this um, and you can see we can just switch back and forth to whatever we want to switch back and forth to, which is simply a push of the button. We can go quickly, or we can use a little transition and come back and forth that way. But it allows you to do everything right here without overpowering a laptop that may not be strong enough to do all the video stuff that we're doing. So it makes it a little bit easier to uh, control what we're what we're doing without requiring a huge computer to bring in all the video sources to one. The other thing that this does is it allows us to plug in anything with HDMI out. It plugs into here. It changes anything that input. So if the input from one camera is a 1080p um, at 60 megahertz and another one is a 720p at whatever megahertz, the two come into here, the A10 Mini switches them so that they come out equal as one stream. But it's extremely useful. We also do live recording, which is what I'm doing right now. That's why the red button is on the record button there. It means it's recording what everything I'm doing here. So everything that shows up on the program view is showing up on, or it's coming through here and being recorded on this particular SSD drive, the Samsung T70, or T7, excuse me. Uh, very fast little SSD drive. Uh, records everything. I can then download that onto a laptop and do all the editing I want to after the fact. We then, I use the laptop to control the A10 Mini through its proprietary software that comes with it. So as long as the two are, can, are seeing each other, I can do that here. So right now you can see that I'm monitoring all the audio that's going on. And you can see camera three is where my audio is coming through and then the master is going out and being recorded. I use, the, I use the upper screen here uh, then to monitor YouTube. So as we're recording and as we're live streaming, I can say, in fact, this one was live streamed this morning. Um, I can monitor the YouTube channel and make sure everything's done there. So with a very little bit of time for prep work, I turn everything on in the morning, on Sunday morning, uh, bring this one up to the Black Magic Control, bring up the YouTube channel, take the key that comes from the YouTube channel, plug it in, and all I have to do at that point is hit one button and it's sending information live. And that's being monitored right here on this particular screen. And you can see here, I'm, this is where it's showing my recording, and this is where it's showing all the audio. These are the four inputs. So right now I have camera one, I have camera two, which is um, up here looking at me. Camera three, or laptop right, right now, this is where I would normally plug in a laptop, but I just use it to plug into the uh, camcorder for now so I can do this recording. 
and then I, I end up plugging the laptop into an aux, uh, my fourth place, and that's just running through our church website. Um, that can also be used in anything that has an HD mount. So a DVD player, Blu-ray player, you can bring it in on here, play it through the system, and either record it, live stream it, uh, put it up into a, uh, a front screen or whatever. You can, you can bring that all through the one system. It all comes out in one location um, and uh, just works fine, works great. Um, and like I said, all the power is here. I don't have to have it in the laptop because the laptop doesn't need to even see it the way I'm doing it here. Now, if I wanted to do um, like a Zoom call or something like that and I'm using the laptop, I can bring that through here, but I wouldn't be able to do the uh, recording of the, uh, of the video because I, I would use the USB-C cable to my computer to do that. Um, just to kind of give you some idea of what we're doing. Now, I said it, I was controlling the two, uh, the two cameras uh, by using this over here, which is the AV Paz, uh, I got it written down here someplace, the AV Paz uh, AV 3104 um, IP joystick controller. So this is actually controlling the two camcorders through the network that we have within our church. Um, each one is connected up to the network. This is connected up to the network. I plug in the plug in the IP address um, into uh, into the controller, and I can control both of those cameras from here. Um, there we go. Camera two. Yeah, let's see if I can zoom in on that. And that's all it is. I got a, got a control stick. I can call it to different locations that are automatically programmed in for the uh, um, for doing a live stream, and I can control it that way. Uh, now, normally during during a church service, I'm controlling this through the uh, preposition pre points, and and that's the way we do that, um, just because it's easier that way. But uh, I'm doing. I normally don't have it pointing down this way, so that's why I'm doing it by by hand. Um, and again, that just works. Here it is, right here. It just works really slick. Um, it's easy to control the two. There is a backup, which is a handheld remote that will control both of the uh, uh, PTZ cameras. And I just use that to turn it on and off. Is pretty much all that we ever use that for now. Uh, turn they, they turn on those. They're not on all the time. So that just turns the uh, cameras on and cameras off when we do that. And that's the system. Um, when we, when, when I wanted to make, again, make this simple, I wanted to make it based on one piece of machinery. These are monitors. They allow us to make sure everything's working smoothly. And this over here allows us to change the cameras to the camera places. Uh, the multi-camera it works with the A10 Mini that comes directly out of there, so it shows me all the inputs, which are these four down here. This is my preview screen, which shows up down here on, as a green, ready to go. The red is the one that is the program screen, which is here, and that's what you're seeing live with uh, right now. So that's showing live on the camera. Uh, if I want to go to something else. I just plug, plug that in and there I'm at, now I'm looking at my camp, my uh, laptop. Now I'm looking back here at the that camera. There's that camera and then there's camera one. That way. The last thing I do is I do monitor the audio on a regular basis. There we go. I do monitor the audio on a regular basis using just a headset. That right now is coming through an audio out on uh, my main screen here with the multi-camera. So that allows me to monitor what's going on with uh, all the audio. Um, oh, last thing is this other mic, mic number, number one, does not come through the audio panel. The reason it doesn't come through the audio panel because the mic one is actually picking up the ambient sounds uh, within the system. Um, so
So I'll switch over to this camera and we'll get that screen. While that's happening, I adjust the other camera to where I want it to go and then I bring it back. What you're looking at here um, in this particular case you can just see a small microphone sticking out next to that window right there. Um, it's kind of dark in the corner over there. That microphone is just a condenser mic. And I'm going to back out just to kind of show you where it's at. It just kind of hides up there by the window. Nobody can really see it, but that actually picks up all the ambient sound within the church itself. So as we're, as we're doing the service, pastor's up, he's mic'd up. I also have that microphone going all the time. And by having the two come into the ATA Mini Pro at the same time, what we are doing or what I'm doing is able to really hear pastor's words clearly, but also get that big room sound. So it makes you feel like you are part of the church. It makes you feel like you're really sitting here in the church, hopefully listening. That's at least what I hope, hope that you get from it. Um, it actually works really well. And when Pastor's mic has in the past uh, conked out because the batteries died on it, or it just simply quit for some reason, um, or the interference with, with, the, with the wireless, I'm not sure what, that one is still running and I still had Pastor's voice. All I had to do was tweak it up a little bit more, which is why we monitor the audio uh, full time while we're doing this. And it uh, allows us to continue to get that. So, um, hope that, again, hope that uh, answers any questions that you might have, how this all fits together. We are looking at some upgrades. Um, I don't have those uh, to talk about right at the moment, uh, but uh, we're looking at upgrading so that we have more flexibility with getting video out to different places. Um, and I hope that comes in the, I hope that should be coming here in the near future. But I wanted you to see what we're doing now. So, me. Thank you for listening and uh, watching this video. Uh, please like our channel. Uh, if you have any questions, just put them in the uh, comments and I'll get back to them. Thank you very much. Hope you'll enjoy the uh, video.